What is good, everybody? Welcome back to your weekly episode of Derek Carr being a bad quarterback. So second down and eight here. And, you know, plays like this may not bother you, but it bothers me to see a quarterback who gets paid a decent amount of money. I'd say a nice chunk of change. Can't even operate a simple play, a simple quick game pass concept. And it's just, it just hurts, man. And uh, all right, let's talk about it. So Panthers, nothing special, right? It's just cover one, cover one man. Pretty obvious pre-snap. You know, you got man to man, man to man, running back, man, man, man. This safety is going to be your cover one guy, your deep safety. And Saints are going to start. They're going to motion Chris Olave to the backfield, right? Some nice creativity there from old Pete Carmichael, everybody's favorite offensive coordinator. And at the snap, he's just going to run this little stopping route, this little hitch, whatever you want to call it, stick route. And he's going to be open. And this play is designed to get a few yards to Chris Olave. And like I said, at the top of Derek Carr's drop, he's going to be open, right? You're going to have Juwan Johnson kind of running this deep corner. Got a couple out and ups from these guys down here. Um, but this backside is pretty irrelevant in terms of this play, because like I said, it's supposed to go to Chris Olave for a few yards all the way. Um, again, second down and eight, they're just trying to get into third and manageable. So let's let it play out here. Motion to the backfield we'll stick right there from Olave. We get a check down to AK for a loss of a gazillion yards, right? What is that? A loss of, I don't know, five, six, seven yards, something like that. Pretty, uh, pretty bad stuff. But, you know, let's talk about why it just infuriates me so much. So after getting to watch Derek Carr, you know, throughout the season, I am fully on board with the opinion of, I really think as soon as this ball is snapped, this guy wants to do Nothing more than to get to his check down. I truly believe it. Um, I just think that that's just what goes through his mind. I think, I, I don't know why it is, if it had to do with the injury he suffered earlier in his career, but I just think as soon as the ball is snapped, he's ready to get to his check down. And, you know, if you can't operate a, a simple, quick game, you know, pass concept like this, there's there's truly no hope um, to ever rely on this guy to win you any games. So, you know, let's talk about it again. You know, Olave in the backfield, nice creativity, right? It puts a lot of space between Olave and his defender, right? You have all the space to work with, but they're going to run this little stopping route, this little hitch, you know, stick, whatever you want to call it. Boom, right there. The ball needs to be thrown right now to Chris Olave. And you can see, I'm putting in slow-mo, cars watching him the whole time. Boom, top of his drop, ball needs to be out. But we don't even give the, like, we're not even giving it a chance to develop. We're not giving this quick game, quick pass, a chance to even develop before we're moving on and looking for the check down, right? Like, top of our drop, and we, like, immediately look away. But why? It's open. Like, if you want to, like, throw it, <laughs> you know? Throw it. It's open. Get those yards, dude. Like, that's what the play is designed to do. It is designed to get you into third and manageable. Why are we, I mean, looking backside? These are out and ups. They're not open, you know? And then we immediately hit the check down, which is covered, by the way, right? Like, it's covered. And, you know, AK gets tackled for a loss of a bunch of yards. But like, I don't know, man. This play just, it infuriates me to watch because... Again, right? Like this is such simple, 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 simple football. And you know, like again, like on coming, like why, like why are we coming off of the concept so soon? And even if you know you don't like Olave here, you could step up in this freaking beautiful, magnificent, gorgeous pocket that the offensive line has created for you, and maybe take a chance, make a play, dude. You're you're paid a lot of money. Take a chance, make a play. Throw it to Juwan on this deep corner. He's he's open. That's open, man. Make that throw. That's a near hash. You got the arm. Step up and make a play instead of coming off the freaking play side concept immediately. I just do not get it, man. Like, even if you don't like it right away, step up and then hit Olave. I, I don't get it. This guy is, like, I, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. 
you know, with Pete Carmichael as his offensive coordinator, Dennis Allen as a head coach all throughout the year. But the more I watch him, the more I watch him every single week live and, and, you know, watching the tape, it's just so apparent that the Saints made a huge mistake going with this guy, man. I mean, you know, you'll see here from the end zone view. <sighs> like, holy crap. Does it get better than this as a pocket? Does it get better than that? I don't think it does. <laughs> Like we have, you know, Cesar Ruiz winning a one-on-one rep against one of the best defensive tackles in the league, Derek Brown. Guy's a monster, by the way. We got Ramchek winning his stuff. You got these three guys over here sliding, handling these two. I mean, it, it doesn't get better than this in terms of pass protection. And we kind of just hang out at the, the top of our drop. No hitches. We don't step up. You know, we come off a lava super early. We act like we're looking backside, but we all know you're, you're wanting to throw the check down immediately. You know, I mean, let's not act like you were actually going to throw anything on the backside. Check down, loss of yards, and it puts the Saints in a huge hole. Bad, bad quarterback play, folks. And I know you might be watching this thinking, wow, you know, one play. What is one play? Is it really that big of a deal? He messed up one play. Everybody messes up. But the truth is, it's not just this one play. This is this type of stuff that has been happening all year on top of the bigger stuff. Right. But this is the stuff that not a lot of people pay attention to. Um, it's the little details that make you know, or break quarterback play. And it's little things like this that add up to bigger things, right? Like just by him coming off of this read so quickly, that was wide open. It loses the saints a ton of yards because he decides to throw the check down instead and, you know, like I said, I could I could give you several other examples just from this game alone of similar things happening. And, you know, not to mention the tons and tons of examples from all the prior games this season. So, I mean, it, it's, again, like the small details that matter the most when it comes to quarterback play. So, again, you may watch this and think, oh, it's just one play. But the truth is, it's just it's not. It's, you know, this one little play times a million you know, because it keeps happening week after week after week, you know, here we are, you know, what week 14 and it's just little stuff like this, getting off the reads too early, immediately wanting to hit our check down. And at the end of the day, it's who Derek Carr is. He, he likes to check the ball down. Um, it's what the saints knew when they signed him. Dennis Allen knew this when he chose to sign him. Um, this is Dennis Allen's guy. You know, I mean, we're talking about a guy, who came into the Superdome last year and could not and could not get past midfield? Derek Carr could not get past midfield against the Saints last year, and Dennis Allen and the Saints still chose to bring him in as their quarterback to pay him 150 million bucks to be their quarterback and basically tie their job or tie his job to him for a second time because let's not forget Dennis Allen also drafted Derek Carr back in Oakland. Um, in 2014 and he was fired early in that season so again you know it's just who he is it's they knew that when they signed him I mean at least I would hope so right but at the end of the day it is what it is we're stuck with the guy appreciate you guys watching peace